If you've ever felt overwhelmed or didn't have enough time to do all the things you wanted to do, it's probably because you have too many projects. Shocker. In this video, I'm going to share with you a book that's going to help you get clear on what you need to do, how to boost your productivity, and start finishing. Let's start the action. Hey crew, welcome, 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 Ita here. Now, if this is your first time watching, let me introduce myself. I'm a video producer, I'm a contract creative, and this channel is all about the tools and strategies I use to run my production company. Between client work and prospecting and administrative work and just all the stuff that comes up throughout the day, it's hard to find time for us to do our best work, that thing you feel called to do. Truth is, you probably have more projects going on than you realize. If this is you, and me, but mostly you, then you need to check out Start Finishing by Charlie Gilkey. In it, Charlie encourages us to drill down and really recognize how many projects we actually have going on. Anything that takes time, energy, and attention, that's a project. Personal or professional, they're all projects. This overload of projects is what keeps us from accomplishing our best work. Start Finishing is all about first identifying and then prioritizing your projects. The book pits them against one another in a project cage match. This book introduced me to the concept of the air sandwich. Think of a sandwich. The top slice of bread is your vision. The bottom slice is your daily reality. The layers in between your dream and your day-to-day -day are competing priorities, head trash, no realistic plan, too few resources, and or poor team alignment. Throughout the book, Charlie gives tactics to address each of these obstacles. He talks about tactics like building a success pack, a group of allies, both directly and indirectly, that fill very specific needs in getting your project across the finish line. Looking at your project on a different time horizon, whether it's yearly, quarterly, monthly, or weekly. Let's say you have a project you want to do this month. Now, we often forget that there are sub-projects and sub-sub-projects that go along with this. That's the project pyramid. As you see it expand, that monthly project might actually be a quarterly project and it needs to be moved up the time horizon. The book provides a list of trigger words that will help you identify where a project should fall in the project pyramid. One of the concepts I still struggle with is the five project rule. This rule states that you can have no more than five projects on any given time scale. And again, it doesn't distinguish between personal and work projects. When you start to look at your projects this way, you really see how much you have going on. You see what to work on, what to renegotiate, and what to cut completely. Oh, 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 and there's my favorite part of the book, but I'll get to that in a second. I'd love to hear from you. What part of the air sandwich do you feel is keeping you from your best work? Is it competing priorities or head trash? Let me know in the comments. Charlie runs a community dedicated to helping creative giants do their best work. I recommend you check out the book as well as the community. I've put links for both of them in the description. My favorite thing about the book is how it's broadened my vocabulary. It's given me names for challenges that I just couldn't find the words for before. I mean, like, head trash? Okay, so now, you know those people that tend to throw you off balance? They love to give what I call well-meaning bad advice. It's not malicious, not mean, they're just, uh. That is a derailer. Not to be confused with a hater. Now, derailers want you to succeed, they're just, uh. So how do you deal with them? Well, you just have to remember the immortal words of Taylor Swift. Haters are gonna hate, and derailers are gonna derail. In the book, Charlie gives tips on how to deal with both. I hope you got some value out of this. If so, let me know by hitting that like button. And for more books on the business of being creative, I've set up a special playlist just for you. So stick around and I'll see you in the next video.